Lewis has just put his rod out and got one on. Alright, so good morning guys. <laughs> uh, I haven't even started the vlog yet. Literally just got my rod out about five minutes ago. Victoria just popped to the shop <laughs> and uh, thought I was getting linings. I didn't even put my Obviously. fucking rods out. What one? He's not the biggest. I can feel he's not the biggest. Shaking his head about. But this, oh, but this is the first mirror. <laughs> so I haven't had a mirror yet. And, it's in the car. and uh, you can know, he's down there. Look, look, there he is. He's down there. Literally took five minutes, sticky um, moulds, new moulds that I was using before, white one. And, uh, no, he's not the first mirror. He is a common. But, any fish would do. Like I say, any fish is better than no fish. <laughs> what a way to start the vlog, eh? Lovely way to start the vlog, eh? <laughs> nice little fishy. Good morning, good morning, guys. As you can see, didn't take long, did it? I cast to a showing fish, and uh, obviously it's done. Got him in the net. Oh, Victoria just popped off to the shop. I was all in panic mode and uh, managed to get myself a nice common. So, oi oi, there we go. First one. Hopefully, we have a couple more and uh, we'll see how it goes. But literally, just off of the weed patch, remember where I was fishing before on the opposite side? Now, fish to this side and uh, one within five minutes. Just managed to get that rod back out onto the spot and uh, see how it goes hopefully hopefully like I said we've got a couple more Victoria's just set up all of her rods and everything but she's got a uh, few things that she has to sort out first but she'll be back in about an hour and oh, that sad face but she'll be back in about an hour I'll put her rods out properly and uh, and we can get out fishing so um, just gonna set up the camera set up the stand and uh, See how it goes guys, but yeah, nice little uh, common. It's a shame it wasn't one of the mirrors, but like I say, beggars can't be choosers, eh? A fish is a fish. We're here. We. So I'll catch you guys soon. Hey, look at that one there guys, eh? Nice angry longer one. Mm. Um, maybe 13 pound, 15 pound, I don't know. I don't know, but look at him, he's got some nice old scars on him. Fell for the white mulbs again. Sticky bait. Absolute gem. Uh, let's hope we get a couple more like this, eh? This is what fishing's all about. I banged him on the Ronnie rig as well. Changed up. I completely changed up. Thought about everything. Look at that. Nice picture with the old. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, change the tactics and obviously done something right because within five minutes we've got one on the bank. So let's get some pictures, guys, and speak to you. Mm. 
B guys. So, we've uh, just weighed the fish, as you can see the video before. We just weighed the fish and he come out at 19 pound dead. I wouldn't have guessed that. Felt a little bit light, but 19 pound, uh, 19 pound dead. Um, a nice little common, original as, I, as I'm guessing again. He's got nice scars on him. He's got a nice fresh mouth on him, but uh, you can tell he's a bit of an older fish. Nice and wide. Nice touch. But like I said, caught on the mulbs, um, sticky baits, mulbs, new ones. And um, it was on a fluoro white, a white, but it was on the fluoros. And literally five minutes cast out to a showing fish, about 17 wraps out, and yeah, nailed him. But like I say, Victoria's got to um, sort herself out. She's got some bits and bobs to do, and uh, she'll be back soon. We can have a fish, hopefully, each. But I've literally jumped in here. I might end up on the other side of the lake by the end of the day. You never know. But um, good way to start it as well. We'll be back tomorrow morning with uh, another update. We'll go from there. We're coming over tomorrow for another day. And then we've got a busy weekend ahead of us. Sorting out some business and um, going and enjoying ourselves. Enjoying our free time while we can. I hope everyone's safe for the coronavirus. I hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's good and uh, hope you're all being lucky and out there catching some bangers on a bank. So that's what it's all about at the moment, especially with everyone being furloughed. If you're still on furlough, it's getting tricky because it's going to be dropping off soon and um, we've all got to get back to work. That's why there's been so many anglers on the bank, it's obviously furlough. But uh, let me stop nattering on, guys. Thanks for it. and. See the fish previously? Woo! Lovely. So I'll catch up with you guys soon and uh, hopefully we've got something else. Hey babe. So bye. So I don't think it wins the uh, biggest fish of the day. But Mangled my hook, mangled my rig. I'd like to make another one, but hey, okay. can't say no, can ya? Little slimy tench. So, uh, we're getting back. Already got the rod back out on the spot. We'll just see how it goes. But, hey, cheers for that, mate. Let's get you back. So Victoria's back in work uniform. Um, we've just got her rods out. She's got one down here. There's a little island here. So she's just off of the island really, mid water. I did see a shower there uh, while she was gone. And uh, the other one, there's a spot. I just had a cast out, found a nice gravelly spot for her. And uh, so we put two singles out, two whites I think. Was it two whites or was it one white? What was the other colour that you put out? Right, so she's got a krill wafter and then, um, yep, yeah, on a normal hair rig. And then she, the other one, she's gone with a uh, runny, like what I've just had. So obviously I've had one on both of my rods. That so goes to show that both of my rigs are working. But, um, yeah, this is, this is a nice little spot, to be honest with you. Look at this, but you can't put a rod out. I'd love to fish down here, get a couple rods down here, one out of the margins, off of the rushes, but unfortunately, Bailiff said to me, missus, he said to Victoria that we couldn't fish it, so, poor, good things with living right near the motorway, eh? But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes now, we're here for a good couple of hours, and uh, hopefully Victoria can have a fish. I'll be happy with that. 
but just let's not get her a mirror. And now I say it, as I was saying it, I was thinking she's gonna have a mirror now. But if she does, she does. Hopefully she has a PB and we can bucket her in her uniform. Woo! So yeah, catch up with you guys soon. Tight lines, wait. A few moments later. Well, hey, look. No pressure on her for a sec, but her rod's just screamed off and she's into a fish. With my sticky crew again. Her sticky crew again, see? So, um, I'm just gonna, uh, I think I covered the microphone there. It's a sticky krill. She's into one, so I'm just gonna let her get on with it. And I'm gonna put the camera down and we get back with it in a sec. So, woo! Look at that. Oh. Four fish, be very careful, babe. I know. 25 pound on oh. the nose, a new PB for Victoria. Yeah. Fucking congratulations, my baby. That is what it's all about. Look at him. Look at him. Well done. He's a unit. Congratulations, Victoria. That's what it's all about. Look at that. Within 10 minutes of her rod being out, 15 minutes of her rod being out. Very unique, original. Got a twisted back fin, missing a part of his. Uh... <laughs> My hand's done. Yeah, turn. that's it. Holding <laughs> the biggest fish that she's ever held. Love it. Well done, baby. Well done. 25 pounds on the nose. Congratulations. Let's get some pictures with Victoria. Right guys, so it seems as per usual over this lake, we seem to get a bit of activity when we first get here, around the uh, 12, 1, 2 o'clock mark, and then zero activity during the day. And as I said, there's not really a uh, night fishing allowed over here. And um, it's one of them ones, but tomorrow we're back over it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calling it short soon. It's now about four o'clock, to be honest with you. Um, it's about four o'clock, half four. But what I have done before we've left, as you can see on the floor, them, I have picked out some nice round leads, uh, round leads, round um, stones, right? What I'm planning on doing, let me get my focus. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to drill some of these. I've seen them on the internet, and obviously because I like to drop some lead sometimes, I'm starting to run pretty low on my leads, as well as getting lead pretty hard at times like this. So what I'm going to do, just for a test, is I'm going to drill a couple of these, found some nice stones, so I'm going to drill a couple of them, and uh, turn them into leads, and see how it goes. I'm going to use some epoxy resin or something stupid like that. But I'm going to uh, give it a go, see how it goes. Obviously I've seen them, I've seen it as more of a natural look and stuff like that. And uh, it's worth a go. I've never done it before. And I've never bought them. I don't see the point in buying stones, really. I can just pick them up and put a little drill hole in it. I'm going to give that a go and see how it goes. But yeah, we'll be over back over tomorrow. Um, Victoria is over there and she is freezing cold, as you can see. So... I don't think it's fair, especially with this wind howling in. Look at the water. Got a nice bit of wind. I don't mind. It's uh, old Victoria that's not really used to it. But we'll be back over tomorrow. We're still going to be here for about another half hour. But um, this is really our sign out video. So when the barrel's packed up and that, you know that we're on our way off. But um, yeah, Sticky Bait's doing the deal as per usual and uh, we should have some news in the next couple of days about something else so tight lines guys and I'll speak to you all soon right guys so we're now packed up Barra and bike is loaded and uh, obviously you know who's going to be on which one don't you I'm obviously going to be on the Barra Jesus 
but we're all packed up for today. We're going to be coming back tomorrow. Um, nice and early, about eight, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, something like that. No point getting here too early in the morning. Doesn't really do the early morning bites. And as we can see, the evening. It's one of them ones, but. Um, I have spoke to little Ronnie again, he told me to jump down in one of the end swims So I'm going to be down there tomorrow Catch me down there, I'm going to go down there and have a look Victoria will be in the swim next to me Hey B So yes, we're going to uh, go home, sort out some food now It's nearly 6 o'clock and um, yeah, chill for the evening So tight lines guys and I'll Do catch you, know you all what? in a bit It's so. been another one of them ones, right? <laughs> where I'm literally just about to start the vlog Singing along to a bit of all night long. And look, can you see it? Her rod has just screamed off. We've just literally got the rods out again. I'm going to have to let it go and give her a hand with it. So. No, you don't have to let it go. Well, babe, look, he's screaming. Your rod's going. I know. <laughs> look, there we go. Right, keep your pressure there. Where is it? Where's your line going? It's like gone over there. Tighten up your front drag, just two clicks, go on. It's not even fighting. Yeah, then reel it. Sure? Yeah. It's still there, I think, I can see yeah. from the rod tip. Oh, actually. Oh. Well, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I need to start the net. <laughs> right. One second, guys. You can see her through there. Alright. Is it a common? Hey. <laughs> oh look at the wind, it's blowing me back with a net. I can't even open the net properly. Oh I can see it, Russ. So there he is. Waddling about in the water. Got the net ready. Well, way to start the vlog, eh? Old Victoria's showing me up again, guys. Angry one this time. A real angry one, because you can't see it. Into the net. Into the net. Come on. That's it. Hey, hey, That's it, look at that. So 20 pound on the nose. Old cops, Leia Victoria is at it at the moment. <laughs> Done on the um, sticky krill, dumbbell, again, a wafter. I think it's a wafter or a bottom bait. Wafter again, so big ups to her. Look at that. That's not me. He's a gem. He's angry. He is an angry chap, but he's behaving himself for you. Look at that. So that's our first fish within five minutes. So it's getting back in the water. Get some pictures, getting back in the water. So lovely. His tail is proper coming. <laughs> So, as you can see, it's been an eventful one so far this morning. Um, just like yesterday morning, we get to the lake at the right time and it's doing a bite. And luckily for me, it hasn't been one. But, yes, I love it. I love watching Victoria out the fish. Um, come out at 20 pounds, not too bad. Nice, long, lean. Looks a bit stocky, but not at the same time. Could be one of the stockies, not too sure. That's the first fish that I've actually questioned 
of whether it is a stocky or not. But big up to Victoria, as you see she had a PB, and now she's just done 20 pounder. So well done girl, you deserve it. That's the way I see it, you bloody deserve it. And um, we're still here for a couple more hours, we'll see how it goes. Should be waiting on a couple of parcels to turn up. And that's it, but look, someone's happy. Yeah, someone's happy, isn't they? Look, <laughs> new PB and a nice fish in the same day. So, well, not same day, within two days. So, what can you say? Um, yep. Yeah. Two focus. So, um, just see what's, what's going on, really. We we'll see how it goes. We're just putting out singles now. We come here before I started putting out bait. I said I put some spawns out before, it did work, but also I was putting out a single, so it's a bit confusing with this place. But like I say, you never know who fished in the water before you. I don't know if they put out 10 kilo, don't know if they put out 8 kilo, don't know if they put out nothing. So just go fresh, man, fresh headed, fresh bedded, fresh headed. So yeah, gonna catch up with you guys soon, have a munch, and uh, hopefully we get some more fishies. Woo, tight lines, speak to you all soon. Someone's rod just absolutely screamed off. Fighting <laughs> <laughs> right across that other rod. What other rod? My other rod. Should I reel it in? Should I put it low? Should I take it's it off, off the, the alarm? It's going to come across yours as well. Should I put the rods down because of the alarms? It's my one. So we have just had double take. Myself and Victoria. If you can even hear this.
Uh, hey! Alright guys, so... Look at that! Double take, eh? Absolutely <laughs> lovely. That was... That was... She was recording me. Messi was recording me. Her rod's ripped off. We thought it was the swan. It wasn't the swan. It was cops! Hello cops! Bonjour cops! So uh, this one's mine here and that one's hers. But let's get them out and see what they're like. Alright guys, so... Look at that! Double take, eh? Absolutely <laughs> lovely. That was... That was... She was recording me. Messi was recording me. Her rod's ripped off. We thought it was the swan. It wasn't the swan. It was cops! Hello cops! Bonjour cops! So uh, this one's mine here and that one's hers. But let's get them out and see what they're like. Hey, so there we go. While I'm playing a fish, uh, Victoria's rod's ripped off. It's not the biggest, it looks just over 10 pound, 12 pound, possibly. But uh, a gem nonetheless and an absolute character. So we get it back. And we get my one out because he looks a bit bigger. We get some pictures for her. <laughs> Number two, thumbs up. <laughs> right, there we go. There's it. Nothing special, 17 pounds. But uh, that was one of the double takes. So this previous one for <laughs> Victoria and this one for me. So lovely. Can't complain. Hopefully we get a mirror soon, because we've had about six, seven commons here. Yeah. And uh, this one's not very behaved, so I'll get him back in the water, and um, hopefully we get a mirror. Lovely. Me. Bonjour, guys. So, uh, it's now five to three. Uh, we're getting on a little bit. Zero activity now. Not even seeing anything, but they're all over the. Uh, I mean, the the winds all over the place. Look at it. Probably looking like seaside out here at the moment. Some nice high waves and that. But um, all of our rods been reset, put back out. But we'll be here for about another hour. So around four o'clock, half four, we should be making a move back. There's one geezer on the lake over there, um, and we have. Do you remember Lenny, the man I was talking about? The reason why I had that success on Weedy Lake that day it was down to Lenny and he's tiger nuts. Um, Lenny's on the lake, he's around the corner. Um, pop and see him before we leave. And then the bailiffs in the end swim, that swim that I said I was going to jump in yesterday. But it's always the way. I got back in here and I don't regret it. Yeah, we've had three fish, very nice fish. Yet to have a mirror though. Might, uh, but yeah, we're just uh, chilling out, guys. See what happens. We've got about an hour left. And we've got to go and have some dinner. So yeah, speak to you all guys soon. Speak to you all. Speak to you all soon. Tight lines, guys. Whee. <laughs> Bonjour, ça va? Uh, yeah, it's, it's about um, quarter to four now and no activity, as per usual, no more activity. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it a day, I think. We're gonna pack up all of the gear, get everything back on the barra, get back home. We've got stuff to sort out tomorrow. The next couple of days, we're a bit busy, but. Is what it is. We've been out and we've had five fish within two days. Very successful. New PB for Victoria. Congratulations on that, babe. And um, yeah, we're going to see how it goes. So, from us, me, and Victoria, it is a bye bye. And we'll be seeing you soon. So, goodbye. 
and I'll chat to you all soon people so thanks like comment subscribe all of the goodness and I'll chat to you all soon I have, a, I have a bait giveaway in the next couple of vlogs as well so keep an eye out for that so sweet take care guys